We're going to uh, go over to talk to Sharon Epperson now because President Biden announcing that businesses with 100 or more employees have until January 4th to make sure workers are fully vaccinated here against COVID-19. So how do workers feel about the vaccine mandate? A lot of views. And Sharon Epperson joins us now with the latest results from a new CNBC survey. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Andrew. You know, although most say that their employers do not require COVID-19 vaccinations right now, a majority of workers, 54 percent, support President Biden's employer vaccine mandate. That's according to the CNBC Momentum Workforce Survey. Supporters include 52 percent of those who are currently working fully in person, 58 percent of hybrid workers and 65 percent of remote workers. The mandate applies to businesses with 100 or more workers and requires U.S. companies ensure their employees are fully vaccinated by January 4th or they'll face regular testing. The U.S. Occupational Health and Safety Administration, which will enforce this rule, does not require employers to provide or pay for tests. So who'll pay for it? I know already that many uh, businesses are going to transfer the cost um, to the employee, and that will be another incentive for the employee to get tested. Of the 37 percent of workers whose companies already require in-person workers to be fully vaccinated, the survey found most are in healthcare and pharmaceuticals, airlines and aerospace, and advertising and marketing. Construction, transportation, and delivery have the lowest share of in-person workers who are fully vaccinated, according to the study, Andrew. Sharon, you've reported on the labor crunch caused by the so-called great resignation uh, that seems to be upon us. So what does this survey really say about the impact uh, on workers who are left behind who stay in their roles? Well, half of the more than 11,000 workers who were surveyed say that their company is currently understaffed. And that's a huge threat to further attrition. Those workers are nearly twice as likely as workers with adequate staffing to say they've considered quitting their jobs in the last three months. And overall, one in three workers say they've seriously considered quitting in recent months. And then I was going to ask, what type of worker do you think right now is most likely to walk away from their job as a result of all of this? Well, this survey showed that low-wage workers, those who are making under $50,000 a year, are most at risk of walking away. The food and beverage industry, advertising and marketing, and agriculture have the highest percentages of workers who are considering quitting. And meanwhile, parents with kids under 18 are no more or less likely than others to say they've recently thought of quitting, although mothers are more likely than fathers to say they've thought about it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.